hi guys i'm karen welcome to another video well last week i had a new basket of shop my stash and that was this basket here full of things from my own stash that i've been using for the entire week and i thought it would be nice to update you what i think about the things that i already have well a few of them i already finished and are in the bin and are going to be featured in the next empties and i think it's going to be up soon maybe i'll shoot it after this video we'll see if i have the time but i want to review things that i have here well, this doesn't belong here it's a mirror <laughs> i want to review the things that i used all week and let you know what i think about them they're from my stash well shop my stash and i'm going to build up a new basket full of goodies for the week to come okay i had three eyeshadow palettes in my shop my stash oh upside down I had this guy by Zoeva. This was the Coco Blend. This is the packaging, and these are the shades. And okay, now I created looks using this palette twice this week. I mainly use these shades here, the white shade here, and this shade here. It was very 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 hard for me to be creative because i like something light in the crease usually so for everyday look i do like something light in the crease a uh, matte light in the crease and there isn't something light matte in the crease this is the lightest unless you mix it with the white but if i mix it with the white the white gets a bit dirty and I don't like that so I created looks using these two and this guy here and to deepen it up I added a tiny bit of the black and the white in the inner corner and another look I don't remember but I used this palette twice I don't know if I will keep using it because I really I don't see myself reaching for it um, I'm not going to toss it just yet but I'm not going to keep reaching out for it I guess because I don't know I'm having a hard time connecting to the color scheme so this is by Zoeva but the quality is pretty good I mean I think Colourpop and BH Cosmetics are better but it is good then I had Anastasia Beverly Hills Beverly Hills Soft Glam, one of my favorite palettes. This is how it looks like. And as you can see, I hit pan here, but this is not new. I showed it to you last week in Shop My Stash. It was the same dent. I used this guy twice. I mainly used these three shades here and of course course these two here and this gold which is a beautiful color I love this color a lot these are the shades that I used this week love the quality love the color shades the color range here sorry and I'm definitely going to reach out for it I'm not using the brush I don't know why not my favorite I basically don't really like uh, dual sided brushes because I keep them in my bin like that I'll show it to you so you know when it goes in one side is not used because it gets a lot of dust and stuff so I don't use that that was the number two number three was Riviera also by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is a very very colorful palette and I used it once to create a look. This dent is not new. I struggled a lot to create something wearable for the everyday kind of look because the colors are very, very bold. But I did use this color here and 
for the crease I use this shade here and I use these and this but I combined now I'm remembering there was one day that I combined this shade with the Zoeva palette so it turned out to be pretty nice I'm not reaching out for it as much as I want to because it's very very vibrant but I'm going to keep it in my collection I'm not ready to let it go I love the packaging and I love the colors and very high quality and it wasn't very affordable if I remember correctly so it's going to stay in my collection for the time being okay I had two primers that I sorry for the noise I'm just getting it out of the bin I had two primers I had elf tone adjusting frame pri face primer and Tony Moly silky smooth balm and I used them both not a fan of neither of them I like the consistency of this one better because it's creamier and creamier this is the only reason this guy is doing the same job basically it's not tone adjusting it's just the primer I don't know didn't really like either of them but I'll keep using them because I need to finish them maybe I'll toss them I don't know for the time being they're in my collection so this was the, these were the primers for foundation I had these two by Revlon Candid and I had this guy by Essence so I had three foundations and this these guys well I was sure I'm going to finish them this week because I kept using them but they kept on going there is still product inside I don't know if you can see in both of them so I'll keep using them because I kind of like the I think I have another one that is full in the fridge for the Revlon candy I don't know one or two I'm not completely sure but I'm definitely going to finish them they're going to stay in the bin for another week I did use this guy by Essence they all day 16 hours the shade is not my shade it's too dark even though it's 10 soft beige but it's too dark and too warm for my liking and it doesn't really match my face and even if I'm trying to even things up I don't really like it uh, I think it's about to be over so I'll just keep using it until I'll finish it okay for powder okay something fell down for powder I had the LA Girl uh, Pro HD Prime um, primer did I say primer I meant powder I had the LA Girl powder HD powder and I'm through with it and at the middle of the week I switched to this Focalure Flawless Setting Powder and this one has a lot of product in it I've been using it and using it and using it and there is a lot of product so I keep use, I'm going to keep using it I'm not going to replace it okay I had in my bin this guy for the brows by e.l.f. I love this duo so much this is in the shade light I love this one I really really do I use the light shade to the inner corner and the dark shade to the outer corner sometimes I only use the light shade all over and it's also very very good keep I'm going to keep using it this month so this week sorry okay next up okay uh, also for the brows I have this essence lush and brow that I used this week and I'm going to keep on using I don't know I have another brand opened I think but I'm going to finish this guy first so let's finish it and then I'm going to move on for bronzer I had my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade Rosewood this is what it looks like I love this bronzer very very much um, I don't know if I'll keep using it or switch it we'll see very good bronzer and I use this 
Maybelline Master Blush. This is a very old palette. It has three shades of blushes. I basically used only these two. This one is too dark and I don't really like it as a blush. And sometimes I use this highlighter and sometimes I use the Essence one. This one is the Essence one. This is a creamier one. This is called... What is this we are doing here? And it's a cream to powder highlighter. I have a dent here. And you can see the pan, but I'm not sure it was like this or not when I opened the wig. But this is a very nice powder. Just take it with my finger, apply it to my face, or use a brush. Both ways are okay, and you can see very good highlighter. I put here because here I already have a highlighter so I want you to see it perfect perfect and I love it okay next up what else did I have here oh now this is a mascara that keeps on going this is a Maybelline Colossal Big Shot I was sure I'm going to you know finish using it because I have a partner that uses this one my daughter is always using it even though I always tell her not to use my mascara but she's not listening so we're using it together and still there's a lot of product and it does and it still feels fresh but my Tony Molly guy went to the bean it was double needs the orange uh, package went to the bean it was too sticky and I don't know it felt like it needs to go to the bin even though there was product still inside but it was too thick and too goopy and I had to get rid of it so I did now oh I forgot eyeshadow primer almost forgot where are you guy oh where is it it was hiding and okay I had two I had this guy by essence which is your better work and I had another one by Wet n Wild uh, it was a focus focus photo focus eye shadow primer that is over I finished it and it's in the bin so now I'm using this one I really want to finish it I think I'm at the ends of it so I'll keep using it this week as well and for lipsticks I had a few I had this guy by Kiko. This was the 02 Ocean Feel. This was the shade. This is the shade that I'm wearing now. Love this shade. Doesn't want to zoom in. Come on. Yeah, definitely. Beautiful shade. As you can see, I'm wearing it. And I also had my beloved well it's all nothing's left from the ink but this was my uh, lip oil by Colourpop this is in the shade Bengal very nice love it and I had another one that I tossed to the bean it was an Ofra liquid uh, liquid uh, lipstick that had a bad smell so I used it once or twice and I, it went to the bin. It was also a bad smell and it wasn't very pleasant on the lips. It was sticky, so I don't really like it. Okay, so this is everything I had in my bin. I'm going to create a new bin for next week and we'll be, I'll be, we'll be, who's we? I will be right back and I'll show you which items I switched in the bin and which ones I kept like well i just said which ones i'm going to keep so i just show you which ones i switched for next week's bin i'll be right back i'm back and there were two items that i forgot to mention uh and i just reviewed my <laughs> i reviewed and um uh, shuffled and uh, added new things to my bin and i noticed that i forgot to talk about these these three basically so let's start with this. These are the concealers and I use the Radiant 
Regiance Reveal by Bonjois and Maybelline Erase Instant Anti-Age so I use these two they are pretty good you know this one is about to be over so I'm going to keep it in the bin because I want to get rid of it I really don't like the sponge applicator I and I think that now they come came up with a new guy Maybelline I think it's shorter and different shades but same applicator so I don't know if I will buy it but it looks interesting so I really want to get over it to finish it not get over it finish it I don't know why I say get over it never mind <laughs> okay so I'm going to uh, keep using it but oh before I show you what I switched I also used the setting spray, setting spray by, by Wet and Wild. This is the Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. It's almost over, so I'm keep using it this week and finish it. It's nice, but it's, the spray is not so good because sometimes nothing comes out and sometimes a lot comes out. So don't really like the spray the formula it's okay it does nothing it's not it's supposed to be a setting spray and a base uh, it's supposed to be prep set and refresh it's refreshing because you have a lot of product being spritzed all over your face so refreshing yeah but it doesn't really set I didn't feel like it's useful, I'm not going to repurchase, but this is for another video. Okay, I'm going to show you what I added to my cart. And for concealer, instead of the bourgeois, I'm going to have two. The Maybelline, as I said, and the L'Oreal more than concealer, inflammable more than concealer. Concealer in the shade 330. So I added this. The foundations I kept as is for a primer I took my elf poreless putty primer which I've been using you know quite a bit there's a dent if you can see so I'm going to keep using it this week I have one, I took only one primer foundation I'm going to use the same foundations as I had this week so the candid and the essence I want to finish them so I'm going to keep using them I'm going to use the same powder, setting powder by Focalure, and okay, let's take this outside because I can't see anything. I'm going to use the same mascara as I did, and okay, now for blush and bronzer, I took out what I had and replaced with this one. I had the bronzer by e.l.f. This is the Prime Infused Bronzer. This is in the shades Forever Sunkissed. And for blush from the same series, the primer infused blush, this is uh, always cheeky. So I replaced these two and also I replaced the highlighter. I'm going to use this one by the bomb. This is the Mary Do Manizer. Liquid Mary Lou Manizer. Well, it is a liquid highlighter. A very nice one. Beautiful color. I have this shade also in powder. This is very beautiful. And let's see for the brows. I'm keep using this duo. Oh. eyeshadow palettes okay now I took out what I had and I took three of Colourpop because I haven't used Colourpop for a while now okay so I took California Love which looks like this this is the palette and it doesn't have a mirror but these are the shades beautiful shades browns and yellows and it looks really really nice so this is one palette the other one is going to be boudoir noir i don't think i ever used this one or maybe just once 
this one has a mirror this is what it looks like golden and greens and browns oh i did use it i guess i don't even really remember but i haven't used this for a long time and i picked another one because you know if i want to have some color and lilac you a lot i've just missed this palette i haven't used it for a while very purpley and beautiful it has some pinks in it and i missed using this palette so this week is going to be purple i guess <laughs> and i love the purple i have another one which is it's my pleasure by colourpop but i don't know i missed lilac like you a lot so these are the eyeshadow palettes and as i said i'm going to use the same base the eyeshadow base and the same uh, lash and brow mascara by essence oh and lipsticks okay lipsticks i took two this one by L these oh i took another one where is oh three okay uh one from maybelline let's show it to you this one from maybelline this is a very nude shade come on zoom in guy yeah this is nude 930 very nudey as you can see and from l'oreal this is the color rich shine 245 this is an orangey one if i'll feel like orange with the orange palette so this is 245 by l'oreal and from the same color which i have 908 also from l'oreal uh, this is more pinky, nudie pinky kind of. I don't like these packages. Uh, and this is it's a 908 by L'Oreal, 245 by L'Oreal, a 99930 by Maybelline. So these are the shades of lipstick I'm going to use this week. And well, I covered everything so this is what i'm going to have in my bin this week and i'm going to use all of these products and i will let you know at the end of the week whoa what i think about them and i hope that some of them will be empty <laughs> and be going to my empties okay so this is everything for me if you enjoyed shop my stash let me know in the comment section down below don't forget Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!